In the early 1970s, I was a young budding curator at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. I wanted to learn everything I could about art and technology. So my research actually started with the catalog for MoMA's provocative 1968 exhibition, The Machine is Seen at the End of the Mechanical Age. This show began with Leonardo da Vinci's drawing of a flying machine, and the show concluded with artwork created at Bell Labs. The machine show featured Lillian Schwartz's atmospheric kinetic sculpture, Proxima Centauri. Her sculpture fit right in with the audiovisual experimentation that was going on back then at interdisciplinary venues. And one of my favorites was the Fillmore East with its music and light shows. Lillian navigated this exciting, edgy experimental terrain at a time when computers were room size and they were the exclusive domain of specialist engineers, namely men. But Lillian knew how to navigate around and within such an impenetrable seeming institutional setting. It was actually her sculpture, Proxima Centauri, that led to her entry into Bell Labs. If we fast forward a decade in the mid 1980s, I jumped at the invitation to visit her studio over at Bell Labs. I wanted to learn more about what she was doing and how she had developed a language of her own out of her own skills of computing, working in cinema, painting, and performance. And it was after a tour of the Bell Labs facility that we sat down and she showed me some of her latest work. And I really had to smile when she called herself a morphodynamist, a term whose etym etymological root has to do with the changing shape of our time. And after all, art of the present is grounded in the past and anticipates the future. At the time of my visit to Bell Labs, she was absorbed by all kinds of new inventions and she was using her computational and programming skills that this led her to a new understanding of artistic uses of these tools. For, the, for most cutting edge um, risk-taking art, it's elusive and very difficult to define. As curators and writers like me, we have to come up with new terms, ones that inevitably will need updating. And it's rigorous art that's created by boundary making cross-disciplinary artists like Lillian, who, and their work makes my heart beat. So the ineffability of art like Lillian's is what draws me in. Lillian Schwartz is an ingenious pioneering artist with an impressively productive career. She's critically acclaimed by art historians and writers, curators and technologists around the world. She's admired for her outstanding accomplishments. Lillian managed to make breakthroughs with every medium she's ever handled. Having lived a creative life to its fullest, we are fortunate that she expanded our knowledge and our perceptions of the world. This venerable artist is most worthy of a lifetime achievement award. And my hat is off to Lillian Schwartz.